Welcome learners to the Manifested e-learning platform. Uh, the subject is uh, economics, uh, the topic, the banking system. In our today's lesson, we are going to study the role of the central bank. And candidates, the role of the central bank can be categorized into two. That is, uh, in line with the syllabus, the syllabus categorizes the role of the central bank into two. Number one is the traditional role. The number two is the changing role in a liberalized economy. The central bank performs the traditional roles. Then there are those roles that are, uh, the central bank performs in a liberalized economy, like uh, the financial sector reform, the exchange uh, rate reform and so on. In our today's session, we will discuss the role of the traditional role of the central bank. Traditional role of the central bank. Traditional role of the central bank. So, candidates, the central bank is a special financial institution that is established by the government whose main aim is to issue currency and control money supply in the economy through various monetary policies. And uh, in our subsequent sessions, uh, we will also have time to study uh, monetary, uh, monetary policies. Uh, that uh, the government can put in place. In this session, candidates, we have one um, objective. The main objective of this lesson is that uh, by the end of the lesson, you are required to highlight the role or explain the role, the traditional role of the central bank. All right. Number one role is that uh, the central bank is the banker to the government. Banker to the government. That is the first traditional role. The central bank is a banker to the government. Why? Because candidates, the government may need to hold their funds in an account into which they can deposit money and from which they can withdraw money. Such an account is held at the central bank. All right? When the government deposits money in the bank, such deposits are usually held by the central bank. So the one traditional role of the central bank is that the central bank is a banker to the government. The second role is to issue currency. Issue currency. Currencies in most countries, uh, such as Kenya, the central bank has the sole power to issue and control notes and coins. And this is a function that uh, the central bank took over from commercial banks for effective control and to ensure uh, maintenance of confidence in the banking system. The third traditional role, number three, lender. The, commercial, the central bank is a lender of, of last resort, especially to the commercial banks. Commercial banks often uh, have sudden, sudden needs for cash. And one way of getting uh, it is to borrow from the central bank. If all other sources fail, then the central bank comes in to assist the commercial banks in, 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 in raising cash. All right? If all other sources fail, 
the central bank would lend money to commercial banks with good investments, but with temporary need for cash. Commercial banks may have a need to invest money, but uh, may not have resources or sources. So the central bank is the lender of last resort. The commercial banks resort to the central bank as a lender of last resort. And to discourage banks over lending, the central bank will normally lend the commercial banks at a higher rate of interest, which the commercial banks um, uh, uh, passes on to the borrowers, even at a higher rate. So the central bank may not fail to raise any money, but to discourage commercial banks from running to the central bank all the time, then the central bank can raise the lending rate. And for that reason, the commercial banks borrow from the central bank as a last resort. As a what? As a last resort. Because the money lent by the central bank comes at a higher cost. Number four, the central bank is responsible for the um, sale of, of, of government securities responsible for sale of government securities. The central bank has a responsibility for sale of government um, securities uh, such as uh, treasury bills, uh, payments of interest on them, and the redemption of the government securities. Another role is that one in relation to implementation of monetary policies. Number five, implementation of monetary implementation of monetary policies implementation of monetary policies the central bank is responsible for the implementation of monetary policies monetary policy candidates is the regulation of the economy through the control of the quantity of money available and through the price of money that means the rate of interest borrowers will have to pay. So candidates, expanding the quantity of money and lowering the rate of interest should stimulate spending in the economy and is therefore um, what we call expansionary. Or inflationary. So I'm saying expanding by expanding, for example, the quantity of money, expanding the quantity of money, issuing more money, and also lowering uh, the interest rate should do what? Should stimulate uh, spending in the economy. And that is therefore expansionary or inflationary. Conversely, restricting the quantity of money and raising the rate of interest should have a restraining or what we call a deflationary effect upon the economy. So the central bank is responsible for the implementation of monetary policies and uh, in our subsequent session under this topic we will uh, discuss some of the policies that uh, the central bank can uh, can can uh, implement 
uh, that is subtopic uh, uh, number six that is monetary policy uh, which under which we will study the objectives of monetary policy the instruments and and uh, limitations you will study the instruments of monetary policy and also limitations of monetary policy but i just gave a, an example of a situation where uh, through uh, the performance of the role of implementing monetary policy how the central bank by issuing of um, uh, money in the economy and the lowering of the, the, the interest rate, how that can stimulate spending in the economy, how that can, uh, can bring the, the, the expansionary effect or inflationary effect. On the converse, I say also say that uh, restricting the, the supply of money in the economy and raising the rate of interest at the same time would have a deflationary effect on the economy. So candidates, these are five traditional roles that are played by the central bank. By the central bank. We will study other roles that the central bank plays in a liberalized economy in our next session. In our today's session, the Objective was one, to discuss the traditional role of the central bank. And on that note, I'm going to give you one assignment. Discuss the traditional role of the central bank in your economy. When answering this question, please don't refer to your notes. Try and see if you can recall what you have learned from your memory. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.